This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items in exchange for other TF2 items. By adding Manco.Trade to your name, you'll also receive a 2% bonus. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to another video about the Jungle Inferno update. This is going to be kind of similar to videos I've done in the past, however this one is specifically about the Jungle Inferno update. And if you didn't guess by the title or the thumbnail to this video, today what we're going to be doing is going over some of the best, highest tier, most expensive unboxes from the Jungle Inferno update. Now obviously the update is still kind of fresh and there hasn't been an opportunity for many insane hats to be unboxed. However there has actually been so many like I wasn't expecting this many crazy hats to have been unboxed already but they've actually somehow managed it so there's a lot of speculation about the unusual drop rate being increased with this update like it was with Halloween last year. I'm not sure if that's true or if it's just speculation, but it would explain it. Now, these are only hats that I could find using Backpack.tf Premium. Whether there's some that are in private backpacks, etc., I'm really not too sure. But nonetheless, these are some really awesome hats. So, also, just before we get into it as well, sorry for all the delays, I want to say a big thank you to Harenko, who actually uh, did a SFM render for me. I'll let you guys know on the screen when he did it, but... It was super helpful, saved me a ton of time, and it was for the, um, well, you'll, you'll know when it was. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the first unbox of the video. So, guys, starting off, we have a Soldier exclusive Unusual. And when this hat was announced initially in the crates, I did actually say to you guys that I probably think it's going to be pretty high tier because it reminds me of the Soldier's stash. This is, of course, the Shelmet. Now, a Scorching Flame Shelmet has been unboxed. Now, the person who unboxed it is unfortunately banned on Backpack.tf, so I'm really not too sure if we're even going to see it on the market. Um, I didn't actually check their Steam Rep or Outpost, so it wouldn't surprise me if they also got uh, banned on there. But nonetheless, I can imagine this thing going for well in the region of between, I'd say, 100 to 300 keys. Uh, I can't see it reaching more than that due to the fact it's not a misc, but it's a pretty nice cosmetic, and although it's only a blue grade, it does seem to be fairly high tier. But overall, this is a really cool unbox, and definitely a really nice soldier exclusive unusual to kick off the video. However, with this in mind, let's go on to the next unusual, which isn't a soldier exclusive unusual, it's actually the opposite. Today, we've got another all-class unusual, being the Scorching Flames Pithy Professional. I don't have a lisp, it's called the Pithy Professional. So, um, this is an all-class hat, I actually unboxed it in my unboxing video, obviously not an unusual form. And, again, it's only a mercenary grade, so I can't imagine it being too expensive. However, there's already been multiple high-tier effects unboxed on it, and I'll go through another one later on in the video. However, if I was to put a price on this hat... Just from an estimate, I'd probably say around the region of one, oh, I don't know, actually, between, like, I'd say at the very least 80 keys to maybe 300 keys. I know that's so, so vague, but it's really early days, and a lot of people are coming to me and saying, can you price this unusual? It really is too early, guys. There's There needs to be some sales on some effects for me to base it off of. But if I was going to, like, just guess by looking at it, taking in its tier and its effect, etc., into consideration, yeah, I'd probably suggest somewhere around the maybe 150 to 200 region um, on outpost listings and backpack.tf. Now, moving on to the next hat in the list, We've got, you might notice the soldier that will have the same hat on, however it's a different effect. Now we've got a burning flames pithy professional, so there's already been a scorching and a burning unboxed and that's only one that I know of, there could be more in private backpacks. However I'd probably roughly estimate maybe the same price for this, generally burning may be a bit more, I, I know that's the case with a lot of hats so it wouldn't surprise me if burning may be sold for a bit more. But I mean, either way, it looks pretty cool, especially on the soldier. You will notice a lot of these posters are on the soldier, um, because a lot of them are, you know, they look the best on soldier. But again, it's a nice Burning Flames all-class hat, and it's crazy that this has been unboxed so short um, into the actual update. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what the future holds with these Jungle Inferno hats, and if we can get any sort of crazy, crazy more unusuals being unboxed. So then, guys, the next item I'm going to be featuring is quite possibly an item that I was most hyped for when this came out and I was quite not necessarily upset but um not not too happy that this item was a soldier exclusive however this doesn't change the fact that this is still an amazing unbox so this unbox is a scorching flames crit cloak 
Now when did Crit Cloak was equipped by the soldier at the bottom of the jungle inferno page i really really hoped this was all class or at least multi-class because i can imagine it looking really good on the scout etc however i think it it looks really good on the soldier it just has the potential to look good on other classes so the crit cloak in scorching flames the crit cloak itself is a commando grade hat meaning it's purple it's the purple tier so it's it's kind of like in the middle it's not overly rare but it's not overly common it's also paintable, the inside of the hood is fully paintable which is awesome, and just overall it's a pretty good hat. Now with Scorching Flames being one of the highest tier effects possible, like I can imagine this thing selling for at least 150 keys, I mean keep in mind this thing's a soldier exclusive hat so you can't give it like a crazy price because I don't think it's quite up there with the tier of the war pig, however I can definitely imagine this being a mid to high tier hat with just how good it looks. I mean for me when these things start to sell and get a price I may even go out of my way to buy one of these, I just love how it looks man it's such an awesome cosmetic and I can just think of so many sets I could make with this hat. Now for this next animation this is the one Harenko made and there's actually two separate hats in this uh, kind of animation but the first hat we're going to be talking about is the Scorching Flames Nuke now when this hat came out I thought it was a soldier exclusive much like the ground control however it turns out it's actually a multi-class hat that's available to be worn by the heavy as well so I think a Scorching Flames multi-class hat definitely deserves a spot in this video now, if I was to estimate a price, because it's only the Heavy and the Soldier, the Soldier's a very high demand class when it comes to unusuals, Heavy, not so much. So I can't imagine this being worth too much more than kind of Soldier exclusive hats, but I'd definitely say in the region of, I don't know, I'd probably say around 150 to 200 if I was to guess, but I mean that's complete guess, I haven't seen any sales on any of the other effects yet. But nonetheless, I love the nuke, I love the kind of Duke nuke and reference that's like in this hat and I said it reminds me of the ground control and it's a very similar hat definitely um I really do like how it looks and I love how the kind of um glasses are included in the hat as well overall this is just a really awesome hat and I'm so happy to see a scorching flames one unboxed but why stop there while we're on the topic of the Scorching Flames nuke, let's talk about the Burning Flames nuke that was also unboxed. Now I can definitely imagine this one being a bit more, as I said earlier, burning generally sells for a bit more than scorching. However, once again, like it's crazy to think that within the past week or so since this update's been out, literally in the past six days, um, that these unusuals have been unboxed. So many nice all-class and multi-class unusuals with high tier effects, it just makes you think what what could happen in like the next month when people carry on opening crates it's just crazy man um either way though the burning flames nuke definitely deserves a spot on this list and a big thank you to Hurenko for helping me with the animation but guys of course unusual unboxes don't just stop at hats with this new update you can also unbox unusual taunts meaning there's been so many high tier unusual taunts including some of the new taunts uh, that were released including the yeti taunts so i'm just going to be going over two maybe three of the high tier yeti taunts and the high tier new taunts that have been added to the game and just giving my rough price estimates and my overall opinion on them so to start off with we've got quite possibly the highest tier taunt effect on one of the new taunts this is a holy grail yeti punch now this is actually quite cheap on the steam market right now just because of how many are unboxed unusual taunts in general are, are really cheap right now i mean you can get a silver cyclone yeti punch along with a skill got on gains one for just under 60 pounds which is absolutely crazy over the holy grail one i don't hesitate in saying it's going to be well over 100 keys and i mean that even though the Yeti Punch is a high tier taunt, I just really can't see it fetching above 200 at the very most, just purely for the fact that it, one, it doesn't continue, and it's a very, like, limited time taunt, you can't do it until you press space, and two, it's, there's just going to be so many unboxed, and that's the main issue with all of these unusual taunts, is that there's just so many unboxed, it's really hard to kind of price them high when there's so many on the market. And lastly guys, the last taunt I'm going to be looking at today is a Holy Grail Yeti Smash. Now apologies for the fact it's Holy Grail again, obviously uh, Holy Grail is probably the highest tier unusual taunt effect, but nonetheless that doesn't excuse the fact this unusual is incredibly high tier. 
Now, I'd go as far that the Yeti Smash is going to be more expensive than the Yeti Punch, just due to the fact that I don't know, personally I prefer it and I think a lot of people in the community do actually prefer the Yeti Smash to the Yeti Punch, just due to the fact that, you know, you turn into a Yeti, which is pretty sick, so um, I believe the Holy Grail Yeti Smash is definitely going to be in the region of, I'd say between 100 to 200 keys, I really don't think it's going to be more than that. I mean, they're selling on the Steam market right now for around £70 to 150 um but i mean it's early days yet it's really hard to tell um without a certain effect of it being priced it's really hard to go off to estimate estimate a price but that's a price i'd go for so two really awesome taunts and i hope they stay at a reasonable price because of how many are unboxed but guys that is just about it for this video if you did enjoy please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below and if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content then do be sure to subscribe once again check out Horanko down below for helping me out with the SFM animation it really is appreciated and peace